Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial we explain how to properly install Docker Desktop on Windows operating systems. Docker is a collection of platform as a service or PAAS programs that use virtualization to run and manage programs in packages which are also known as containers. The program that manages and hosts the containers is called Docker Engine. Containers run independently from each other and they are isolated from one another. Containers contain their own software, configuration files and libraries. Also, different containers can communicate with each other by using different channels. You can use Docker to run robot operating system, machine learning programs and different applications and programs. So let's start with the prerequisites and this is really important to understand so do not skip this. So the first prerequisite is to have Windows 10 64-bit or Windows 11 64-bit. For Windows 10 minimum required is Home or Pro 21 H2 or even higher or Enterprise or Education 21H2 or higher. I will later on explain how to verify your Windows versions. For Windows 11, minimum required is Home or Pro version 21H2 or higher or Enterprise or Education version 21H2 or higher. So let's figure out the Windows version you have. Click on Start, then search for Settings. Then after that, you need to do a few things click on settings. So let me now minimize this so I can see here. Then you need to click on system. Okay, so there's a, several ways to find system. One of the ways is to click here and you can simply find a system here and over here if you go here and scroll down you should see your Windows version. So here it is. In my case, it's Windows 10 Home and I have version 22H2. Okay, so if I know, now go back here and see the requirement, the minimum is 21H2, I have 22H2 so I can run Dockers. Then, next, you need to have Windows Subsystem for Linux 2 or WSL2 installed on your system. We created a separate video tutorial explaining how to install WSL2 in Windows. And here is the tutorial. I will provide the link to this tutorial in the description below this video. Then you need to have hardware virtualization enabled in a system BIOS. On some systems this is already done. To investigate this let's open a task manager. So click here and search for task manager. And then over here click on performance. Expand this make sure, sure the CPU is selected and if you see here virtualization enabled this means that virtualization is enabled on your system. However, if that's not the case you need to follow this tutorial over here to enable virtualization. Briefly speaking you need to restart your computer then you need to start system BIOS I'm not sure on your computer, for example, my computer, you can start system BIOS by pressing, I think, F2 or F12, and then you can actually search for hardware virtualization in your system. Usually, basically, you can go to uh, one of the sections of your BIOS and you will find the proper option. So simply follow this tutorial or you can just look in your BIOS and find it by yourself, or you can even Google it how to do that. And after you do that, you will see that virtualization is enabled on your system. That is, you will see here, enabled. Okay, now, you don't need this on Windows 10 Home. On Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise, you need to activate Hyper 5. And you need to follow these instructions over here. I will provide the link in the description below to install Hyper 5. So here is the way of installing Hyper 5 on Windows 10, it's very easy. It actually comes with Windows 10 Pro and you just need to run this in PowerShell or you can do even this in a command line or you can do some other things. For example, there is a third option. To stress again, you don't need to activate Hyper 5 in Windows Home. 
my in my case I have Windows Home and Windows Home that do not does not support Hyper 5. Consequently, I don't need to install Hyper 5 and Docker will per, per perfectly work by just using WSL. Okay, so let's start with the installation process. First of all, WSL2 and Virtual Machine Platform should be enabled in the Windows system. So let's enable them. Click on Start, then search for Control Panel and click on the Control Panel. Then you need to click on Programs. Then you need to click on Programs and Features. So how to find the Programs and Features? So you can simply click here and then you will get the programs and features and then you need to click here turn windows features on and off okay now if you scroll all the way down you will see windows machine platform and this should be enabled so make sure that it's clicked and another thing is that windows subsystem for linux should be active so press ok and this is very important Next, we need to install Docker Desktop on Windows. To do that, go to this official website or simply search for Docker Desktop Windows Download and you will be redirected to this website. Okay, so over here you need to choose the proper version. I'm going to choose this version since I have 64-bit system and I want to install it for Windows 10. And that's it. Simple as that. Click here and the download process should start. Now, over here you have a simple manual that will just lead you through installation pro process once you download the file and it's nothing special. Only there should be one detail that I will explain and that you should worry about. So let's wait until it's downloaded. So let's just wait. Okay, done. Let's click here. Let's go to the download folder and let's run the installer over here. I will run the installer as a system administrator. So do the right click and run as administrator. This is very important and let's see what will happen. Now this will take some time. Click on yes and let's just be patient here. So you can see now that basically verifying packages, add shortcut to the desktop. I don't like this. Click OK and you can see unpacking files and things are being unpacked currently and then the next step is actually to install docker desktop so let's be patient over here this will require some time after the installation is completed you will be asked to close and sign out and if you click you will be closed and sign out of your system then if you sign in again you will automatically see this window over here if you don't see this window, you can click, simply click here and click on Docker Desktop. Okay, and you will get this menu over here. So then you can read few, or actually you can view full terms. And there you will see the license and all these other details. And you can see over here that commercial use of Docker Desktop at a company of more than 250 employees on more than 10 million in annual revenue requires a paid subscription. So if you don't belong, belong to this class, you can use Dockers. So click on Accept, and then we will need to do a few things. You can, for example, continue without signing in, or you can also sign in. And over here, you need to complete a simple survey. Survey. So I'm going to say, for example, data scientist, and you can say ML for, for example, hobby projects, continue. And here it is. You're currently in Dockers. I will create separate video tutorials explaining how to use actually Dockers in Windows. Consequently, please press the subscribe and like buttons. Thanks a lot.